Hi, welcome to the Chess Studio. Today, I'm going to attempt my first temp time at coffee dyeing. Some paper, hopefully to become signatures in the journal collaboration. Um, so, I have this. This has an address. This was gifted to me. Um, and this is 300 series regular surface drawing paper. I figured I would try. Oh, she's got some sketches on here. Um, this was given to me by my cousin. Hopefully a little bit of graphite won't matter. Um, when his mom or her husband's mom passed away. So I'm going to try these two, that one, and then, you know, stuff goes on clearance and you buy it and you, you have no idea what you're going to use it for. This is a huge gridded paper. So I'm going to take one of those. I'm like, because it can make two different sheets. Of paper. Well, let's look in that signature paper, but we don't know what's going to happen with this. So, um, I would assume that the grids won't bleed, but that's just assuming. Non-reproducible blue lines. Huh. Okay, so you could draw on there and use the grid for help and then photocopy and nobody would be the wiser. Okay, and I figured I would... I have these doilies. Looks like I have a small one and a big one. I got these at the dollar store forever ago. I don't usually, don't really include doilies in any of my art, but it would be a fun insert in a junk journal, I think. So we'll take one big one, one medium, I'm not going to do the little ones. Put this back in there. And then we have... Oh, this is another one. Uh, more graph paper. I don't know. I just want to try it. I think I'll do two. They're kind of small to end up in the journal, but it'll be fun. Give it a try. Okay, so I have two different kinds of rice paper. This one came from Timu, and I don't know, you probably can't see it, but there are lines in the paper. Like, anyways, it's got lines. I don't know if that's for training purposes, what that is. It's very wrinkly, but the whole thing is a little rumpled when it got here <laughs> but um so I've got two Timu rice papers and then and they're rough on both sides and then this is other rice paper and it has the smooth side and the rough side and I have the feeling it'll hold up better than the other well we're just gonna see what's gonna happen with this stuff okay so I have I know it's not much but I have copy paper that's fairly good quality. I don't have the package anymore, but it's smooth. And then I have really, really cheap copy paper that I do not like from Walmart, that it's like got a fuzzy texture on both sides. So we're going to do both of those. Then I have some of this. This is actually ink jetted, copied. Um, I just want to see what will happen. Like if that bleeds, if it still shows in some way. I tried to make it so the line wouldn't show up, but I was not having any luck. Um, and I want it that way because if I fold it in a signature, I want it upright. I don't want it sideways, but I mean, it could go sideways too, but. So that's on the, the yucky coffee paper because that's what's in my machine. I don't have a lot of the good stuff. Um, this I found at a thrift store and it's, it says, Graph sheet tracing paper, 50% rag. 
I'm, I'm not sure exactly what that means, but does that mean it's super thin? It does. Look at that. This will be very interesting. I don't know if paper like this dries very well, but that's interesting. I wonder if it'll bleed. Anyway, that's going to be fun to play with. I'll put a couple of that in there. And another thing I found at the thrift store was, um, this is music paper, but it's like, I'll just say Asian because I don't know if it's Chinese. It's probably Chinese, but I'm going to add a little bit of that. Of course, how big would the signature be if I went that way? Actually, not bad. I mean, these are really big. I wonder if I could find the middle. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, yeah, it's stitched in. Hmm. Do I want to unstitch it and just dye it all as one big sheet? That would take a lot of space. Or maybe I'll just tear them out. We'll just tear them out. And then um, dye them that way. If that looks like it's no case size, I might go that way. But I can always do it this way. But isn't that interesting? I thought that was interesting. Okay. So I got me some of that. And this is a sketchbook that I got from the thrift store as well. It's already, you know, turning. I did not look that up. Oh, it's a Daiso. Um, but I don't know how old. I was debating whether or not I wanted to tear it or take the coils out. I don't think I'll ever use this as a sketchbook. So I will uncoil it and just take some paper out. So I won't make you watch that. And then this is sketch paper from the dollar store. I was wondering if is it stitched or glued? How is that in there? I don't want glue, but I was thinking I wanted to use some of this. Oh. Hmm. Well, let's try to turn it out. Yeah, very rough edge. Oh, not too bad. Oh, look at that flaw. That's the dollar store for you. I have no idea if I will remember. There's a lot of imperfections in there. If I will remember which paper is which, but we'll make an attempt. Now this, um is modern rice, modern onion skin. Um, so it's not real onion skin. I don't think it's real onion skin. Because it's, it's new. I got it on Amazon. I don't remember how much I paid for it. But we're going to try. So it doesn't have that. Like it's, let me show you. I do have, I did find, um, this is clean erase typing paper, but this, I believe is real onion skin. Because it's real old. I want to tear it out easily. Okay, come on. Even the glue, look at that. You can tell this is an old pad. Uh, not very good. Okay. Let's pull back the. There we go. That's much better. We'll throw that in anyway. And I want another clean one. I'm trying to do at least two of each. I don't know how much will go into the journal, if any. 
Good grief. All right, I'll just go, we'll just put those four pieces in. It's really brittle. Okay. But yeah. That, mm -hmm. Well, I just killed the top of that, didn't I? Anyway, and that one. So, I don't know if you could tell the difference. I don't know if you're interested. If you could tell the difference between this and this. But when I saw this, I felt it. I'm like, oh, I think that's onion skin. Anyway. It doesn't say onion skin. It says clean erase typing paper, which is what onion skin was used for. So there you go. And then this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, more graph paper. Um, this is my... Yeah, you don't need to see my... My old artwork from high school, because I think this is how old this is. Um, this, this is my my own personal notebook from high school. So that was 80s, early 80s. Put a couple of those in there, and I also found this at the thrift store, and I thought it'd be fun. We'll, we'll, we'll coffee stain it and see what happens to it. Why not? That'll probably be enough paper to be getting on with. computer paper so it's like copy paper quality we'll see if that bleeds when I do it but that should be enough paper to start with don't you think Some interesting paper interesting sizes <laughs> I think this one I'm gonna tear in half to do because that was really big and the doilies and I'll work on this and then we will move to the kitchen okay so I got my instant coffee from the dollar store and one of the things I watched said two tablespoons per cup so I put a lot I thought a lot in there I did two tablespoons per cup and I should have just mixed it in the pan I mix it in the bowl, and then I have to transfer it to the pan. <laughs> so, I went and grabbed my paper towels so I would be prepared, because I knew this was going to spill. The guarantee. <laughs> Pouring it out of a bowl, I would get fluid on the table. It's all good. I'm a beginner. What can I say? And I have my camera up as high as I could get, so I'm trying to put things really close together. Well, it's good for the dipping process. And, um, yeah, so you can see everything. Now, I was gonna, like, one person said they leave theirs in, like, four minutes. I don't know if they do them individually for four minutes. But that, my first one, that one was starting to break down. So I'm like, I don't think I'm going to leave them in that long. So I do these stencils and I drip a little bit of more concentrated. I have a cup to the side that has a little bit more concentrated coffee that I'm sprinkling on there to try and help emphasize the stencil pattern. I don't know if it made much of a difference to do that or not. It gave it a little bit more coffee to sit there and percolate on there. Um, some of the stencils do end up really dark and some not so much. Um, if you want to skip all the way to the end 
and just see the flip through. I am going to do a flip through of these after they're dry so you can take a look. But I mean, really, that's all I'm doing is layering, dipping them quickly. Not, I'm not taking a lot of time. This is sped up, but because um, I was really careful, because the first paper I dipped tore. Now here's that graph tracing paper stuff. I didn't feel like that was absorbing any color, but I think it looks a little bit tinted in the end. And one of the pieces of graph paper. That's a fun stencil. And most of the mask stencils that I have that you see are Elizabeth St. Hilaire. I think I named it incorrectly when I was flipping through the papers, but... Um, I'll note it on there. <laughs> but I didn't have, I don't have a lot of space, so I did dry these in the tub. I did drain the tub, you know, because you can see the excess coffee around there. I did drain it a few times, um, but maybe you coffee dyeing experts can tell me, is that why I got the crispy, like really crispy edges around it? Because they were, I don't know, sitting like that? I don't know. I think this is what, the stencils and piling them up like that is what stretches the edges of the paper. So the, never lay flat again. Even ironing them, they don't lay flat. The ends are really wavy. But like I said, you don't have to watch this whole process if you don't want to. I didn't film the whole thing. Like, I did quite a big stack. Um, and I did a lot more than what you see here. I took, like, a big hunk of the cheap copy paper. Which, it works pretty well for the um, coffee dyeing. Like, it didn't change its structure too much. Um got a little soft if I left it in the coffee too long but it it seemed to take it the best like recover from it <laughs> like survive the process that's what I'm trying to say and of course the sketchbook paper and the Daiso paper they turned out pretty good this is the Daiso paper I'm dipping right now They probably could have sat in the coffee longer. But um, I had to leave them in the pans to dry. So as they the top would dry, I would lift it off. And um, it did take three days to dry. <laughs> now the whole point, if I haven't said it before, the whole point of creating this coffee dye paper is for the art journal collaboration. It's... Um, I can't remember. It's got a funny hashtag. It'll all be linked down in the description box below. It'll have um, the links to the other participants. This is part of, um, I think it was APG mentioned chapters. So this would be chapter two, which is the signatures. Chapter one is the cover. I will um, also link that below. If you want to see how I made my cover. And then this is going to be a two-parter. Because, I mean, the coffee dyeing on this one. And then part two will be the putting the signatures together. And seeing the cover that I received um, to put signatures into. Some of these papers are much softer than others. I've always wanted to try eco dyeing. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, the hashtag is six pack collab. C C L A B. Six pack collab. 
<laughs> tab. Um, but it'll be down below. And the links to everybody will be down below. So make sure you check them out. Um, if you're new to me, thank you for coming and watching. I appreciate it. Um, if you haven't seen some of those channels that are um, collaborating, check them out. There's um, APG Jamie and Rosemary Morris of the Rusty Peacock. And then um, Jessica. There's a couple Jessicas. I'm trying to think. I've got their names here. I'm getting it. <laughs> Jessica Harris and oh the other Jessica I don't have her last name and then there she's with two silver oranges and then Lynn with a bit of bird song so I think that is all six and me so that would make six so we're a six pack <laughs> but we aren't it's not like a hop so much because we aren't all posting on the same day um, we're just posting our contributions, and um, yeah, see here I'm draining the first bit of it. I do drain it several times before it's dry. Now I have this old pan for the bigger pieces. But yeah, we're we're all doing different things, showing our process or our part of the thing um, I haven't I've seen Rosemary showed her signatures she's got some fun signatures that she put in the book she was working on made me feel like uh, maybe this isn't good enough <laughs> but it's what I've got so we're going with it um, but yeah I haven't seen anybody else's signatures yet they probably be posting soon though I would think we have to send this on to the next person by March 5th or April 15th this one's April 15th um, as I'm doing this voiceover I have a week so by the time you see it may or may not be past the deadline but I'm all done I've made my signatures the book is in the envelope ready to go. I just got to take it over to the post office and send it on its merry way. So, is this the rice paper? No. Well, it is. That's the better rice paper. The rice paper I got off of Amazon. That one. The doily, um, the edges are too... Um, sensitive. <laughs> I didn't do a good job. I should have put gloves on both hands. Um, I was trying not to use my left hand in the coffee, but shh. yeah. Is this no? You'll see it when I get the um, Timu rice paper. Oh, this is it. This is the Timu rice paper. It's too big for my pan, first of all. And then it just falls apart. It fell apart in my hands. There we go. <laughs> I try one more time. I'm just dipping it slightly on both ends. And pulling it out here. And it got all messed up anyway. <laughs> so just add the coffee. I added the stronger coffee, so um, the Timu rice paper gets really dark. So I'm just setting it straight onto the pile and adding just a little bit of coffee to it. It didn't really need it. I thought it needed it. It didn't need it. And then just sticking the next one down. And I sprinkled coffee. The the Timu rice paper ends up way too dark. I think you see it in the flip through at the end. Which I think this is about the end. Um, yeah, and I added the sprinkles too 
I don't know. I think that rice paper just got way too dark. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but it's true. I don't like the burnt brown look. <laughs> All right, draining a little bit more. And then we'll do the flip through. There they are, nice and fluffy. So, this is the, this is the package labeled onion skin that I got on Amazon. Pretty sure that's what that is. Um, I did throw, you saw me, if you watched the beginning of this, I threw stencils on there so you can kind of see them a little bit on some of them. This one, let's see these four, let's see a little bit of the spiral there, was the um, erasable bond stuff I got from the thrift store. Here's my doilies. This is the one that tore when I was putting it in and got all hard and crispy on the side. I Or that one tore. I don't know. They were hard to do. <laughs> so I had a mask and it left color. So apparently, oh and something else left color. Apparently there was some paint on there that uh, could reactivate with coffee. <laughs> um, so I don't, I'm not showing you all of it here. I, I have another stack. See this? <laughs> That's just the plane. Nothing fancy there. Um, but yeah, this stencil, I think there's another pink one, the other side of it. Had something on there that was definitely water reactive. Which I don't, I don't understand. The only thing I can think of that I have that that's, co that's that color is this, which is acrylic paint, fluorescent rose. I don't know. It's interesting. Um, I don't think I like these edges. I think because of how I had them situated, they sat in the pan, but they're really hard. I, I mean. I guess that's normal. I don't know. I don't care for it. Um, some of them, like this one, I sprinkled the extra little grounds of coffee. I think that over was a little overdone. You can see the stencil pattern there. I like that one. See the compass? You can see it on here. And the flowers. I like that one too. And this. This was inkjet. It did not bleed. Probably didn't soak in the water long enough. I don't know. But it did take these things three days to dry because even though it's April, um, it's snowing. <laughs> it's been snowing for three days. This had scripting. That's kind of cool, right? I think that's kind of cool. It's mysterious writing. More stencil. It's hard to see. Um, I am going to take an iron to some of these. Um, we'll see how they look. That one's another one that I sprinkled the extra on. Like I said, I don't think I care for it so much. Um, more stenciling. Can you see the pattern on that one? That's Robin, one of Robin McClendon's um, Klimt stencils. And this one, I actually kind of like this watery mark here. I don't know how I would repeat that. That one you can't see much. And the two different papers, the copy paper that I don't like so well and the copy paper that I like better, um, I, I can't tell them apart. I think this is the better one. It's a little smoother. This one's a little bit more rough. So then this could be something else entirely. I don't, I'd have to go back and watch my own video. You can see the stencil marks in there. Um, flower stencil marks in there. And then we're getting down to the different stuff. Here's the graph paper. None of it bled. I did have stencils on there. It's hard to see. I don't know if you can see it. A little bit. If you hold it up to the light, which... There. You can see... Well, you see mostly the, the graph paper grid. And that one has some... Oh, yeah. This one, like, sucked to it and sealed to it. That stencil was not coming off. So there's a little rough patches where the paper tore. And these are the smaller ones. And then this was the um, graph 
tracing paper stuff. Very interesting. This one had a stencil. You can see it there. This one did not. That's kind of interesting. I don't think that would iron well, so that probably won't ever get ironed. But. And then here's another one. This is the Daiso um, drawing paper that I got at the thrift store with um, another um, Elizabeth St. Hilaire stencils sitting on it. These ones, I really like how they took the color. Um, they don't get too gross on the ends. And yeah, I think they worked pretty well. This one, oh yeah, another one of her stencils. Another one of her stencils. This one didn't go as dark. I'm not sure what the difference was. And this one didn't go as dark either. That one has a um, Patty Tolly Parish stencil on it. All right, and then these that I just stuck in. So wrinkled. Just wanted to see. If, and it said coffee paper, but coffee, coffee paper, but it um, it's weird. Always that one had a stencil. And this one. I think there was a stencil between these two, which is why that is. And this, okay, so this is the the um, rice paper from Timu, Timu. The one that when I got it wet, it just dissolved in my hands, like, like it just fell apart. Like the other one, I just ended up in the garbage. It was just, it just into a ball. So that's when I put this just down and then put coffee over the top of it. Um, that was the only way to do it without it dissolving in my hands. So they are a little darker. And then this is the rice, the other rice paper I got on Amazon. I think this is the one that um, Robin McClendon recommends. So it's got a slick side and it's a textured side. This one doesn't have a slick side. And then this one doesn't look like anything happened to it. Got a little bit of coffee marks on that side. And this one, same thing, little coffee marks on this side. And then these were the larger sketchbook papers with stencils on them. And yeah, so um, I think that would be enough for this particular video, part one of chapter two, the signatures, um, for the, um, art journal collaboration. Hopefully I already said that in the dipping because I'm going to do a voiceover in that where I do the coffee part. And it was a fun experiment. My first attempt. Some are dark, some are not dark. They are darker than white though. I mean, this is white. No, that was not a good example. That's why. See? <laughs> Anyways, it'll give it a nice sort of warmth, right? And I'm thinking I might, like, find some images and maybe print something, like, in the corners. I don't know. Make it a little bit more interesting. I might add some other paper. I'm, I'm not like everybody else in this group. I don't have collections of vintage stuff. So, it will be what I can come up with. <laughs> All right, I hope you liked that. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Check the links below to the other people in the collaboration. Thank you all for watching. Have an awesome day.